the ants are back. But they're not gonna stand a chance. We already got someone here and they are spraying the house. So many of you guys ask for ant updates and how it's been doing and I cannot believe it's been almost a year since we had that whole like ant infestation. If you guys have not seen those videos yet, we'll link them down below. So I got these, it's huh? an actual liquid. Oh, and then they go inside and bring yeah. it home back to the queen. I guess so. So I, no lie, have been sitting here for the past 30 minutes. Like I am in an Asian squat on top of here, okay? All right, and I have been sitting here observing. Okay, so it first started off with five ants, but last year around this time, our house was filled with ants. Like every morning we'd wake up and there'd be like a new ant trail. No matter how clean we try to keep the house. And you know, we're trying to be as natural as possible. We tried all sorts of natural remedies. And then we tried to just go to Home Depot and get like things to spray the house ourselves. We even got like those little pods, which was very, very entertaining, I tell you. <laughs> They're like these little ant bait. I would just watch the ants for hours, figuring out the ant bait thing which was very, very entertaining. Oh my god. That's this crazy. Is, oh my god, this is really disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Not that disgusting. All the ones on top right now are the ones leaving. Yeah, they're they really butts. big. The regular ones, yeah, the don't ones, have big butts. The ones coming in don't have big butts. Oh, oh my god. But see, the ones that are leaving? See, you see how big it's big butts? butts. Oh my god. It didn't work in the long run. We have to have someone professionally come out to spray it. I don't know if it's like very harmful to ourselves or to the environment or what, but I mean, that's just what we have to do because nothing else worked. That's an ant update. I know you guys have all been so curious. So now it just goes to show that once a year, the motherfuckers come back. Time to make my bed. Favorite shirt. I love this shirt from Benji and Judy. This is the whole fam. Benji, Judy, Juliana, Mia, Kira or Kira Mia. <laughs> Here we go. This is the best part. When I wake up and I just open the blinds and it feels so good in here. <laughs> this is my lazy way of making the bed. I don't even fluff it out. I used to not make the bed this perfectly, but I have been inspired after getting my new bed sheets that I'm gonna make it look nice. Those are the little guys. Those are the little guys that eat all our fruit, dig holes in our backyard, but they're so cute, so I can't even be mad. Oh, oh, oh my, ooh, it looks like a monkey. <laughs> the silhouette makes it look like a monkey. Hero, hero, where are you going? Michi, come here. Who is this guy? Who is this guy that's in our housey? Hmm? She went nuts this morning. She's very, very protective. I'm sure I've told you guys before. Our home was broken into years ago. We were actually vlogging then. Look at how tan I am, by the way. I'm so tan right now. I'm two foundation shades darker. Our home was broken into and we were vlogging at the time. So I told you guys about what happened. It wasn't targeted or anything. Well, actually it kind of was targeted. The same guys were breaking into all the homes in the neighborhood that did not have alarm systems. So anyways, that situation really traumatized Michi and changed her forever because she was home when it happened. So we're just gonna keep her in here while the guy kind of takes it away. But luckily, she's very she's very smart, very intu intuitive. So if we told her like this person's okay, then she's totally fine with it. But I love you. You know, we is bougie now, so we're having, ooh, some sushi for breakfast. How you do? <laughs> it's really just leftover sushi, which is still good, not complaining, but I mean, you don't look very good right now. <laughs> leftover sushi is just one of those things that don't, Taste I don't know, they just don't something. look good, don't taste good. Avocado is all brown, not green anymore. Salmon is all pink, not orange anymore. But yeah. leftover kimbap? Oh, that's another story though. Korean Koreans do it right. 
Koreans do it right. Well, it's because they're so raw fish. Hey, you know what? That's true. You know what is the cure to all sicknesses? My sicknesses. What? Pongjo. Sorry. We have a video on it. I was, I was just mm. thinking, like, don't we have a video on this? Yes, we do. You can look it up on our channel. It's something you drink after your period. It's supposed to help replenish your bodies. I swear, every time I don't feel good, I have headache, tired. I drink this tea, and then the next day, I feel better. I don't know what it is, but it really is replenishing my body. So I finally showered. I was looking so greasy. Wall looked over, and he was like, your hair looks really dirty. You know, that's a sign, girl, when your man can notice your hair is greasy, it is time to wash it. I'm out of my shampoo, so I need to order some. I'm so just delusional right now, both of us. We've just been editing here for the past three, four hours. I'm editing a Chinese vlog for our Aya Wally channel. We're trying to pick up on that one again. I just realized like we haven't eaten anything yet, so luckily we had curry from last night. It has always been so difficult for me to bite into fruit. I've always been born with really weak teeth. After braces, I feel like the bone is even more weak. Even something as soft as a plum is very difficult. So we need you guys' advice and a little help. We're gonna go to Japan. As you guys know, we talked about going to Japan at the end of the year. And I wanted to ask you guys, what would you guys recommend? The great thing about YouTube is the comment section, just like being able to speak or to ask a question and get like thousands and thousands of answers, you know? Imagine in our parents' era where they grew up with no internet, let alone like speaking to somebody, a stranger, and actually having a conversation or like just getting advice from a stranger just seems crazy. Anyways, what you guys recommend doing in Japan? We are going to Hokkaido first, which is the northern part of Japan. So we're gonna spend a little time in Hokkaido first, and then we're gonna work our way down to Tokyo, I believe. So we're gonna stay in Tokyo for like a little bit and then after Tokyo we are going to Osaka so I think those are the main three cities I said cities C yeah cities that we're gonna go to so far Sandra has done a great job at like planning everything but obviously we want to help too so if you guys could recommend some stuff she put things like I think we're gonna head to the Sapporo beer museum which seems great it'll be cool to have Sapporo in Sapporo <laughs> some waterfalls some gardens so we're gonna do a lot of nature stuff we're not gonna spend too much time in Tokyo um, just because we are nature freaks yeah and like that and like I feel like Tokyo has just been showcased so much like even for people like me and Whaley who have never been to Japan feel like not that it's not special but because we've seen it so much it's just not as special to us anymore and like city life I feel like anybody can enjoy city life you know like in each country there's always like a big city that you can kind of play off of and kind of get the same feeling you know but nature it's totally different i feel like each continent it's just so different let us know what you guys think we should do something that we should not skip on um restaurants obviously we're gonna eat tons of food so just a quick google search i typed in hokkaido japan and oh look at that look how beautiful that is look at this that's so pretty that looks like the blue lagoon almost i think osaka is just more like traditional in terms of like buildings and like their um architecture that's what i was gonna say look at that like there's both like traditional but also city life can't wait to eat lots and lots of food oh i heard about this crab place apparently they have like king crab that they just barbecue yeah let us know if there's something that we should not skip on and then also Mm. Right, so what do you guys think about that? Like accommodations, like do you guys think Airbnbs are better or are hotels better? Because there are some Asian countries where hotels cost around the same as Airbnb, but they are way better than the Airbnbs. And then in other countries or places or cities, like it's the opposite, where like Airbnbs are just way better for what you pay for. And yeah, let us know what you guys think. Should we stay at like more traditional places or should we stay at more like modern places? And should we stay at Airbnbs or hotels? Seriously, we got the best dogs. We got the best dogs. You guys are so good. Sorry, we've been so busy today. We've just been working and we haven't had time to walk them yet, but we're gonna take them to the park later tonight. But they are just so, so good. They know whenever we're busy, they just keep to themselves. They don't make a mess. Not too crazy, they just sleep and wait. Every time that we were, were working and I would look over, 
I would see them and they're just like laying here with their eyes wide open, just waiting for something to happen. And then also today, we had the ant guy come, the ant guy, <laughs> she said the, the ant, ant guy. guy. The ant man. <laughs> the ant man. <laughs> you know who I'm talking about. The guy comes, so then he sprayed the yard and he advised that we just don't let the dogs out just yet today. So they can't even go out in the yard and play. So they've been really, really bored. Hey girl. <laughs> what? <laughs> Money, watch happening? out! You're gonna get you're gonna get kicked in the, in the face. face. Watch out! <laughs> Just like what you got going on? What you eat today? So my body couldn't decide if I was hot or cold when I was wearing this hoodie. So I grabbed a thinner jacket that I could wear. So this way, I won't be too hot, but I won't be cold either. <laughs> it's that time of the day where we make lunch at home. Thank you HelloFresh for sponsoring this video and today's lunch. Oh, and by the way, when we got the windows redone, Whaley thought of this great idea of putting like a little shelf right here. Now we can put the camera there. So HelloFresh makes cooking at home easy, enjoyable, and simple. It's got its recipe cards with six steps and pictures, description, and everything comes in a bag like so. Everything is pre-measured. Today we're gonna make scallops over truffled mushroom risotto. That sounds amazing. Both me and Willie love risotto, but we don't really cook it much at home just because it's it's kind of like fancy. And this one actually is a gourmet recipe from HelloFresh. And I love that with HelloFresh, you can always choose your recipes online before they get delivered so that you know what you're getting into. But at the same time, you're always dealing with something different so that you get out of your comfort zone and cooking something new like risotto, risotto, risotto with truffle mushroom. Here, I got the scallops. Still very frozen, so gotta defrost these guys first. Wow. It smells so good. I just walked back in the house. I took the dogs out for a walk and I came home to this amazing smell. Oh, I cannot smoke believe so, this. So, so good. By the way, I forgot to mention HelloFresh is now America's number one meal kit and it's now starting at $6.99 per serving. If this is something that you would like to try, you can get a total of $80 off by using our code WALLY80 at HelloFresh.com. Hands down, the best meal we've ever had from them. <laughs> yeah, it is the gourmet one, so. Oh, girl! Mm. Their meals are always really good, but. I know. <sighs> This one is on another level. This is very gourmet. Mm. The flavors, oh this tastes God. like something you can get at a restaurant. Mm. I feel like I say that a lot, but. Yeah. Wow, that's so good. Oh, my God. oh you guys have to try this. Okay. The scallop, the mushroom, the yeah. truffle butter. I mean, truffle oil. Mm. Oh, no wonder. It feels mm -hmm. like there's just a depth of flavor. Mm -hmm. The scallops are perfect, too. Mm, you did so good. Thank mm. you. Mm -hmm. This one took a little longer than usual just because it's a gourmet one. Mm -hmm. So worth it though. So worth it. I'm getting this one again next month. <laughs> I hope they still have it. Because uh -huh. it changes so, so often, you know? Mm -hmm. I hate how when I have Invisalign on, it makes me look like I have puffier lips. Why can't they go back in like this? It makes my whole mouth looks, look, look kind of weird. It makes me have this list. Park time. It's my favorite time of the day. Mm. I love this part. I know, I love this. This part, this, I mean, this part. This time of the day, too. Like, yeah. when the sun is setting, it's all yellow everywhere. Mm -hmm. Got the golden hour everywhere. Mm -hmm. It feels so nice. Yeah. Um, oh, so if you guys watched the last vlog where we got sunglasses, I ended up going with these ones. These are the Spring Strings um, Rookie style. I got them from iHolics in Koreatown here in LA. So oh, I really nice. like these. Yeah, it's my first time wearing them out, so mm -hmm. I thought I'd show you guys. Are yours new too? Yeah. Which ones are these? Sunday somewhere. Shannon. Shannon. Okay. I see. It looks nice. They're very lightweight. I like it. Yeah. If you guys like any of our sunglasses, you can actually ask the staff in iHolics. They know all of our styles. They do. And this is not sponsored, they're just our friends. <laughs> yeah. If anything, they pick all of them for us. Yeah. According to like what our face shape is, and then they'll let us know if it fits us or what they would recommend. Mm -hmm. She has too much energy. I am about to let her go. Let her run for a circle maybe. Navi, go, 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 go! Go get him! Navi, go, go, go! He wants treats. Navi, go run! Who is that? 
Navi, who is it? Go get him. Go, 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 go. Navi. <laughs> she just has too much energy, so we like to like let her run like this. Because if not, she just <laughs> from just walking, she does not get tired. We could like walk her for a full on 24 hours, she won't get tired. <laughs> Good girl. Did she want a treat? Michi, want a treat? Okay, go play. Ready, Navi? Uh, I'm gonna catch you. Go, 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 go. <laughs> What's up? What's up? What is it? Tired? I kept chasing her, so I think she's tired now. <laughs> go, go, go. <laughs> she likes pumping into money. She loves that. So mess up. Ramming into her all the time. Oh. oh. Right. Go! Go, go, go! Those dogs look very fun over there. She could probably play with them. What are you eating? What's going on? My right? grown up dinner. PB and J and apples and peanut butter. <laughs> very grown up. Mm hmm. Very, very grown up. Who would have thought this day would come? You would grow up and have peanut butter jelly sandwich. Mm -hmm. That was bougie today. I had risotto, so. Mm. Wow. Now it's all about the simple, simple dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I just funny. saw the bread on the shelf and I'm like, hmm. Hey! Bless you. Sorry. I was like, hmm, PB and J sounds good. <laughs> I should make one. You want some? Mm, maybe I'll make a roast beef one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, we got some fries at the grocery store the other day. And. What? Oh, no, you can use my plate. I'm just gonna use the same plate I ate my sandwich on. I'm just eating whatever we can find in the house tonight. Just feeling lazy. Or I could just. Thank you. Oh, 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 it's a lot. Careful, B. It's a ghetto or what? We got cars shooting her sauces. Oh, we didn't get it. Mm. It's gourmet. That's what it is. You're wasteful if you don't keep them. That's true. That's why I always ask for two. is our night routine every night or not every night but maybe like three days out of the week we try to have our movie nights and thank you to prime video and netflix there's always something to watch but right now i'm just watching friends because we were watching a movie and this guy falls asleep on me any other couple can relate he's always first to fall asleep i used to get so pissed i used to get so annoyed and even before we would put the movie on i'm like really babe we're not doing this like you're just gonna fall asleep but now i have gotten used to it it has almost been eight years and at this point i just gotta learn to accept <laughs> But it's fine. I've really gotten used to this routine and now I start to see the beauty of it because why do I have to stay watching a movie that I maybe not enjoy when I could be watching Friends? Once he falls asleep, I always just switch the channel and go back to Friends because it's my favorite show and I love ending my night with Friends. It just puts me in such a positive mood. It makes me laugh all the time even though I've seen it so, so many times. Really grateful for moments like these. I really enjoy just like sitting here in our living room we're all safe, all the dogs are here, the rabbits are in the room, everyone's comfortable, entertainment on the TV, like what more can I ask for? So hope you all have a great night and if it's daytime, I hope you all have a wonderful day and we'll see you guys in the next video.